and we're going to be finding a percentage of an amount. Now you are not allowed a calculator for this question. I know that you've already looked at finding some percentages of an amount, such as finding 50% of a number, 25% of a number, whereby you're using the facts where we know that 50% is equal to half, so to find 50% of a number, we half it. So you have got some knowledge of how to find a percentage of an amount when you have some known facts. In this lesson, we're going to be finding, for example, 23% of a number, 77% of a number, or 3% of a number. So these don't have known fractions to help us. But to answer all of these questions, that's all you need to be able to do is to find 10% and 1%, and then we can work with these two to find any percentage of an amount. So let's look at some examples where it would make a bit more sense. So here, in the first example, we've got calculate the value of the following. Question 1, find 10% of 90. Now, 90 is 100%. That is the whole amount. Okay, So we want to find 10% of that. So I always start off by writing down 100% is equal to 90. 10%. How do I get from 100% to 10%? But I would divide by 10. Because there's 10 lots of 10%, isn't there, in 100. So we divide 90 by 10 to find 10%. So 90 divided by 10 is 9. So 10% of 90 is 9. Okay, let's look at the next one. Finding 1% 1 of 400. Again, remember 100% is 400. To get to 1%, are you thinking, well, I know that to find 10%, we divide by 10, which is 40. To find 1%, how do we get from 10% to 1%? Divide by 10 again. So divide 40 by 10, which gives you an answer of 4. So 1% 1 of 400 is 4. Now I know that some of you would see that from this part, you could go straight to 1%. How do you get from 100% to 1%? Well, you divide by 100 divide this by 100 and that gives an answer of 4. Both methods are absolutely fine. Looking at question 3, to find 20% of 70. So think, we need to use 10% and 1%. Which one of these is going to help us to find 20%? Well I know that 20% is 2 lots of 10%. So the 10% is going to help me here. So again, Always start off by writing down that 100% is 70. I'm going to work out 10% by dividing by 10. So I'll be 7. Let's look at a 
few more examples. So here we need to find 11% of 800. 100% is 800. What will I need to find 11%? Well, I will actually need 10% and 1%. Because to make 11%, it's going to be 10 add 1, isn't it? Okay, so this one's a bit more tricky now. So here, how do we get from 100% to 10%? Divide by 10, so divide 800 by 10, which is 80. How do I get to 1%? Divide by 10 again. So 80 divided by 10 is 8. So 10% is 80, 1% is 8, 11% is 10%, add 1%. So that's going to be 80, add 8, which is 88. So 11% of 800 is 88. Okay. Let's look at the next one, 21% 1 of 1,000. 100% is 1,000. So we'll always work with 10%, 1%. What would we need? Well, to get this 21%, to get 20%, that's two lots of 10%, and we'll also need that 1%. So 10% divided by 10, divided by 10, that's going to be 100. 1% 1 divided by 10, divide by 10, that is 10. What else do I need? So that 1% here I've got, I need 21%, so I'll need 20%, because 21% is 20% plus 1%, isn't it? Okay, so 20%, well if I know that 10% is 100, 20% is going to be two lots of 100, which is 200, so 21% is going to be 200, because that's 20%, add 10, which is the 1%, to give me 210. So your answer here is 210. Okay, let's look at the next one, 14% of 200. So again, 100% is 200. Work with 10% finding that and 1%. So divide by 10, divide by 10, that will give you 20. We need that 10% because 14% is going to be 10% add 4%, which is 4 lots of 1%, isn't it? So divide by 10 again to find 1%, which is going to be 2. 4% is 4 lots of 1%, so that's going to be 4 lots of 2, which is 8, so 4% is 8, 14%, how can I do that, that's 10%, add 4%, what was 10%, 20, add 4%, which was 8, so 14% of 200 is 28, so my answer is 28. Okay, looking at 32% of 600, remember 100% is 600, 10% is 60 by dividing by 10, 1% divide by 10 again, which is going to be 6. So remember, you can find, to find a, a percentage of an amount, Find 10%, 1%, and we can work with it. So we've done that. Let's look. We need to make 32% of 600. So 10% is 60. So I'm going to need 30%, aren't I? So that's going to be 3 lots of 60, which is 180. I need 2%. So 1% is 6. 2% is going to be 2 lots of 6. So 2 lots of 1% which is 12, so that means that 32% is going to be 180, add 12, which is 192. So the answer to this question is 192.
So hopefully that will make a bit more sense now with how you find a percentage of an amount without a calculator. Please write all notes and all examples in your big books for me, please. Thank you.